That is what I tell them. I tell them, your father has made seven generations in one lifetime. And I'm giving them a parable to think about. Because from the part of Ghana where I live, and for the things I do on a weekly basis and on a daily basis, it has to take over speed to operate like that. So I told them, in my lifetime, it's so number of years. Just multiply seven generations, 210. That's what I'm preparing them. But for the Brian, the amount of work he has done in our time, in his lifetime, qualifies him to be called an old head on young shoulders. When he says Joseph was the son of his father's old age, it didn't mean literally that his father was old when he got him. What means is that he was the son of old age to his father, means that he was a, he, he was a young, he was an old head of young shoulders. That man Joseph was older than his age, and that is what this young man has given to us. Thank God his mom is here tonight. And I almost thought that was his sister or something, but then um, she's giving birth to these amazing prophets of God. Not every womb produces prophets. Some wombs produce arm robbers. Some people's wombs produce um, confusions. Some people's wombs produce, um, you know, jokers and rascals. <laughs> but we thank God for a blessed womb. A blessed womb that produces this amazing work. I want to thank yourself for your impact on the youth of Ghana, not just the youth, but even. Adults, we learn from you. We watch you, we look at your momentum, your energy, your drive, and we learn from you. And um, Dr. Sonibadi, thank you for being his friend. Um, every one of us, every now and then, we need a friend. And um, for your brothers who's come with you in the ministry, Samson and Daniel and Mark, who is my buddy buddy, Mark. Mark is young, but the name of Kazakhana Miferi. The guy is so gentle, Dr. Mark and Martin, and um, standing with you and you standing with them in the ministry. Four brothers who are not in competition, but they are, they are in complimenting one another. It's amazing. I mean, we know our season rivalry, but when we look at you guys, we don't see anything like that. We just see you making one another stronger. And um, just before I hand over the microphone, I have my brother friend here who is going to be ministering to us, an amazing man of God, a man of the purest kind, the sincerest kind. I'm talking about somebody you can trust. You, 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 you can trust. This man is what he preaches. I, 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 he's so gentle and um, very, very anointed. Recently, I was to come and do something in a crowd for a friend. A friend wanted me to come and speak. And, and bring in partition of the spirit. And then um, they were prepared to do all kinds of things to bring me to a crowd to do it for just about two hours. And I told him, sir, it's going to be very difficult. The amount of effort in it is not worth it. He says, but you must do it. You are the one we know you can do this. God will help you, of course, to do it, to be a blessing. And I said, I know a certain man who lives in a city called Accra. Just with you. He will do it exactly that and better. And the name of that man is Reverend Dr. Robert Ampia. And uh, Tom went there and ministered to them. I asked him later, I said, how was it? He said, exactly as you said. But I'm telling you, this man carries a very tangible presence of God. These are the people that have the old time oil of the Spirit of God in their vessel, and that oil is not contaminated, it's not diluted, and it's not diverted in issues. And tonight, you are about to receive a dynamic ministry, explosive.